Hello guys, welcome to yet another video. This video is gonna be a little bit different than past videos, but one thing that I'm gonna do, like I have done in past videos, is for every like this video gets, I'm going to spend $1 on the next Farfetch unboxing. So if this video gets 4,000 likes, I'm gonna spend $4,000. So please take a second, smash the like button down below. I do enjoy making these videos, and one of the reasons why I changed the format of this video is because I wanted to go more in depth about the pieces, and every time I do one of these, I just feel like I often miss certain things about the pieces, so I wanted to actually kind of go in depth about each piece but I got to give a huge shout to Farfetch this video would not be possible without Farfetch boy so please show some love check out Farfetch top link in the description and there will also be a link to all the pieces that I show off today as well as a link to some other similarly styled items or items that I think you should check out Farfetch is an online retailer that has a slew of different brands a plethora of different garments literally they have everything you could ever need and everything you never know you needed they have all the like high-end luxury brands like Fendi Gucci they have high-end brands like Bodhi they have kind of like high-end to mid-range products like Off-White and Heron Preston. You can actually find Off-White and Heron Preston for literal like streetwear prices on there. All the way down to actual streetwear like Brain Dead, Stussy, Supreme. You literally have such a large selection on Farfetch. They even have vintage and sneakers. If you guys don't know, Farfetch owns Stadium Goods. So you are able to purchase sneakers from Stadium Goods through Farfetch. By the way, another thing that I love about Farfetch, Farfetch doesn't store all their stuff in a warehouse. Essentially, the product on Farfetch is populated by small local boutiques from around the world. So when you order from Farfetch, you're actually purchasing from a small business. So you're supporting small business every time you shop on Farfetch. And it's not like other places where you have like a middleman service and it takes three weeks to get your product. Somehow, I do not understand logistically how they have mastered this, but every single purchase I've ever made comes within two business days. I don't think they advertise two business days, but I've literally gotten every single package within two business days. It's insane. Not to mention, I like the fact that although it's from a bunch of different stores, you don't add something to your cart and then have like all these extra prices. Like the price you see is the price you pay and you're not gonna get to check out and see $100 or $50 extra added to your cart. So I'm definitely a big supporter of Farfetch's business model. Like I said, top link to Farfetch in the description down below. I will leave a link to these items as well as a couple other items. Another thing I love about Farfetch is they have a slew of different sales. And for the items that are not on sale, I have a discount code for you guys, which is 10FFSTAR10FFSTARR to get you guys 10% off your purchase. The rules and regulations to that discount code will be in the description down below. So that way, basically almost everything you could think of on the site is on sale because if it's not on sale, you can still get 10% off of it regardless. But getting into the actual pieces for the first piece, well, really for the first two pieces, I'm gonna talk about two brands. Definitely have a lot of hype, but I still feel like sometimes we'll get dismissed by certain crowds of individuals because of that hype. So the first brand we're gonna show off is Off-White. There are some details throughout, but you don't see any diagonal lines down the sleeve, crazy like arrow branding on the back, but you do see this like sewn in quilted blue bandana pattern throughout. And if you look closely, you can see the little diagonal graphic. I think it's a little bit more subtle. You also have this wrench and then it says uh, Dana. Originally it says bandana and then down here I believe it says off-white banad bandan. <laughs> it kind of cuts off the writing. I would say the most notable piece of branding is probably this tag that looks like cut up Swiss cheese on the back. But this is a super nice boxy fit. I love the fit of this denim jacket and I got this for half off. Off-white will make stuff that's a little bit more hype, crazy, like branded off-white pieces that you see on Instagram or you see on influencers in LA, but they also make a lot of cool pieces like this denim jacket, for example, that I could wear. And I mean, minus the tag right here, not many people would even know that it's off-white. It kind of has this old mechanic Americano style, super nice fit. I did size down. One thing I like about Farfetch is they have like a fit predictor. Based off past purchases, they'll tell you what size you should get for the intended fit of the designer. And you don't necessarily need to go with that fit because not only do they offer that, but they also offer photographs of it being tried on by a model usually, and they'll have the measurements of that model as well as the size they are wearing. So for me personally, my true size for outerwear is a size medium. But when it comes to denim jackets like this, I like a really cropped fit in the body. I saw that the model was definitely taller than me, as you guys know. I'm a five seven and three quarters, five eight when it's sunny outside, and I'm telling you, it's not sunny very often here in Washington State. Just like my hair resembles that of Lord Farquaad, my height also resembles that of Lord Farquaad, my fellow 3D luscious locked brethren. But that being said, I like a crowd fit. I saw the model was like, I believe 6'1", 6'2", wearing a size medium. I love the way it fit on him. So for that reason, I sized down, got a small, and I do not regret it at all. You see this like sewn in panel right here.
right here so it makes the shoulders a little bit wider it's not over the top you do see some branding on the little metal embellishments throughout but for the most part you could wear this piece and I, I don't think it screams off white like I got a crazy deal on this piece like I said top link in the description I will leave a link to this as well as all the other items that I show off and I did style it with a pair of 424 denim you have like this blue bandana theme kind of throughout the outfit I didn't want to go with another pair of blue denim although I do think it would work well because I had black shoes I didn't want to have like all blue and then black. I mean I think that still would have worked like this would honestly work with the next piece that I'm gonna show you guys however boys you guys know I like to have a little bit of a theme to my outfit and I felt like it really went well with the 424 denim now I do know Farfetch carries 424 and I know that they used to have those pants I'm not sure if they still do if they do of course I will leave a link to those in the description as well like I said I don't really need to go too in depth about off-white because off-white is a brand that a lot of you guys are aware of already started by Virgil Abloh currently a designer at Louis Vuitton he's been making waves lately especially with his last fashion show where they put a bunch of buildings on pieces like I I don't understand runway fashion I'm a peasant. Moving on, we're going to go on to Heron Preston next. Basically, I'm out here trying to collect all the uh, current pieces from the old Ben Trail design boy band. Uh, but that being said, next up we have our pair of denim from Heron Preston. It's actually a collaboration with Heron Preston and Levi's. Amazing pair of pants. I've wanted these for quite some time. Now, I've seen these on there and they've gone on sale and I've thought about pulling the trigger many times. However, I had to pull the trigger. I got these for like 170 bucks, which to get a pair of Heron Preston pants for $170 is a fucking steal. And there's a lot of details with these pants that I actually really appreciate. Obviously, I love this kind of red print that pops off the blue denim. It already kind of has this fade. And one thing is that the bottom, or I guess, the majority of the pant is almost like a waxed denim. You can kind of like hear how it's very stiff. And you'll notice throughout the pants, you have a bunch of little industrial additions with the button. You have the orange button. Orange is kind of like Heron Preston's color. You can tell by the tag right here, all the other little orange additions, even down to the stitching. The belt loops were basically sewn in backwards. You have orange stitching on the Levi's tag, which is obviously distorted, kind of exaggerated, and orange stitching on this pocket right here. You might say this isn't a pocket. However, it is a pocket. If you unzip this and reach into your ass crack, you'll see that on the other side, there is is a pocket, which I think is really unique. And if you do not want to look like you are itching your ass crack in public, then you have another normal pocket. Some other interesting details is like, if you guys thrift, you guys might pay attention to the tabs on the Levi's, because often that's how you tell or how you date a piece of Levi's. But look at this, this has two Levi's tags. I don't know, there's a lot of cool little additions that if you appreciate Levi's denim, you will probably like this pair of pants. Definitely a lot of cool details, even like the Levi's tab right here next to the Heron Preston tab. And I got these for such a freaking deal. Like I'm telling you guys, you can find deals on Farfetch. Don't sleep. Links in the description down below. But moving on. Wait, where's my... There it is. Okay, so anytime I do these unboxings, I convince myself to get something from Fendi. It's probably one of my favorite luxury brands. This is definitely like a flex piece. But it's more than just a flex piece. You guys know how I love my knitted sweaters. I always say this. Knitted sweaters are absolutely mandatory. If you want to go pick up some old ladies at the retirement home, they're going to love the knit. Now, you have this really soft materials. I believe this is made of cashmere. If you guys saw the last video, will stick with the theme of the polar bear pubic hair dipped in mustard. It feels absolutely soft. You have Fendi Roma right here. Obviously, Fendi hails from the land of Rome. I've been to Rome before. Super cool. I do love the fit of this sweater. I went with a size 50 as opposed to a 48. Normally, when it comes to these luxury goods, I'm a size 48, but I just knew kind of how I wanted to fit. And like I said, basing it off of their size predictor and looking at the model, I definitely knew I could get the fit that I wanted if I went with a size 50. I love even some of the details. If you look at kind of like the knitting around the neck, you already know about to be flexed up at the retirement home. Now, we do have two more pieces from Farfetch and then two other kind of notable recent pickups. Another piece from Farfetch, this is an Amiri hat. This is my first piece I've ever purchased from Amiri. It's not necessarily a brand that I really appreciate, but there are a couple things that I like that they do. Some of their boots are pretty cool, but you can kind of see the inspiration in a lot of the pieces, whether it be him kind of doing what Warren Lotus does with Nike, whether it be his boots kind of imitating either like Balenciaga boots or, you know, YSL boots. Like, I just think you often often see his reference piece very easily. That being said, when I saw this hat, I love this hat. I like this graphic a lot. A lot of people said that it looks kind of like some sort of like comic book logo, or it looks like some kind of metal band graphic, which I agree. I definitely think it looks like either one of those. Like this could be the symbol for Venom from Spider-Man or a symbol from like some rock band, like Cannibal Corpse or something like that. I think it looks cool. You can obviously see the A and M all embroidered. Then you have the Amiri little leather patch right there that says Amiri with the double snaps, just a clean little snapback. The reason I got this is because I 
like the way vintage snapbacks fit. And I could tell that it fit very similar to this snapback, which is a vintage curved rim that I got in the thrifts. I got this for like a dollar. This is from obviously the 1980s. Yeah, it's just a really clean fit. And if you look, you can tell there's definitely some similarities. The height of the crown is very similar. The curve is very similar. I just knew it would have that nice vintage fit, which is why I went for it. And I was right. It definitely fits amazing. Like I love the way this thing looks. Put my hair back so it looks like I have a mullet and it looks like I am now a high fashion trailer park resident. I did see the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby wearing like a trucker cap version of this. And I love the fit of that so much. I honestly might go buy another one. So we basically have like two quiet pieces that like can kind of be a flex if you know. And then you got the two flex pieces, boys. But it's not always about the flex. So I did get another piece that I don't know if anyone really shows off on YouTube besides me. But I have had quite a few of you, my boys, hit me up and say that you guys copped a pair because of the videos. And I'm really curious if you guys do cop a pair, slide in my DMs like I am Summer Ray or Addison Ray or why do all like the famous uh, girls have Ray in their name. Yeah, slide my DMs like I'm one of them and let me know what you think of them. We're just gonna pretend like you can't see them. Let me just... Okay, now that you guys have no idea what I'm about to show off, we have a pair of Toga Virilis. Woohoo, yet again, another pair. Now, if you guys saw the last two videos, the pairs that I got were kind of more dress shoes. They were like loafers. Now, I wanted a derby as opposed to a dress shoe, and I have a couple pairs of derbies, but they're all Doc Martens. I've never really splurged on a pair of derbies, but just look at this. Thing. Look at that, that's nice and shiny. You have these like metal embellishments. I went with all black just so I could wear it with basically anything. I know some people probably feel a little bit confused conflicted about these little metal embellishments, but I think they look super sick on feet. And that's one of the reasons why I like Toga Virilis. I like all the little metal details that they do. You also have this little metal detailing on the back as well. I did wear these out in the wilderness for the little uh, styling portion, which I'll do like a little video edit at the end of this video. But yeah, I think this is just such a sick shoe. I've been adding Toga Virilis to my collection. It's probably my favorite shoe company right now. And I don't have much information on them. So if you guys have any information about the brand itself, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to get educated. Knowledge. I like learning about the brands that I wear and it seems like the only YouTubers that I can find that show this off are in Japanese and I don't speak or understand Japanese. So I don't know. I just don't have much information about this brand as a whole. And I've been waiting to get this for so long. They finally got my size. Anytime I see something I like, if they don't have my size, I just add to my wish list and then I just check my wish list. A link to this shoe, maybe a link to a couple others that I like if you guys haven't seen the past videos. Now we have two honorable mentions. These two pieces I actually did not get from Farfetch, but I wanted to show these off because they are some recent pickups. We have this pair of Reese Cooper corduroy pants. Reese Cooper is a somewhat newer designer. I'm not quite sure the year that Reese Cooper was founded. And I've heard of Reese Cooper. I've seen it on Instagram a lot because it seems like as Carhartt has gotten bigger, Reese Cooper has become kind of like an expensive version of workwear, like high-end workwear essentially. But I love the style of it. It almost feels like it's high-end for the Pacific Northwest. Even like his last collection was all filmed outside on this like hiking trail. I don't know. It's super cool. I love what they're doing. And these are the corduroys. You can have this like contrast stitching throughout. You have some little cargo pockets. I don't remember what I paid for these. I know Reese Cooper is a little bit expensive, but it is a brand that's kind of more focused on sustainability. I don't know, boys, but the last piece is the beautiful vintage Carhartt jacket. This is another pickup. Now, although I don't believe Farfetch has vintage Carhartt, they do have a lot of pre-owned designer goods, and they also do have vintage pieces, like I was saying. I don't believe they have vintage Carhartt, but they do carry Carhartt and Carhartt work in progress. For me, it's really easy for me to find Carhartt or easier to find Carhartt. It's becoming a little bit harder. Carhartt is so popular here where I live live because I live in an area where there's a lot of blue collar work, there's a lot of workers at the port, a lot of union workers, and just a lot of people who actually wear Carhartt to work in. Carhartt is a staple brand. I mean, it's been around since the late 1800s. I think the only brand that I showed off that's been around longer than Carhartt is technically Levi's, even though that was released from Heron Preston. An amazing heritage brand, of course, hailing from Detroit, Michigan. This is a blanket line corduroy collar. Now, like I said, this may not be on Farfetch. However, they do have a lot of similar styled Carhartt jackets, and I need to stress to you guys, I think some people sleep on Farfetch thinking it's this place that only carries high end. They do carry a billion different variations of everything and they do have Carhartt on there as well. And sometimes you can get Carhartt for a crazy steal. I'm gonna leave a link to a couple pieces from Carhartt. If you guys like this style of jacket, I'll leave some links in the description down below for you guys. I'm telling you, do not sleep. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Hopefully you guys like the new format. Like I said, please take a second, smash the like button down below. I would greatly appreciate it. I love these videos and for every like this video gets, I will spend $1 on the next Farfetch unboxing or haul. I'm not quite sure which 
which one it'll be. Maybe I'll do an unboxing. But I just prefer this format because like I said, there are details that I wouldn't notice or be able to explain just from unboxing it. Check out the top link in the description for a link to Farfetch and then I will leave a link to the items I showed off and maybe a couple similar styled items or pieces that I'd recommend checking out in the description as well. If you find something you like on Farfetch, of course, use the discount code 10FFSTAR. That's 10FFSTARR for 10% off your order. Anyway, speaking of styling these pieces, hopefully you guys like this little edit because uh, yeah, man, this is the funnest part for me. Like I like doing these edits for you guys. So of course, hopefully you guys show some love, but as always, keep them the star life and peace the fuck out. Welcome back to the humble abode. Hopefully you guys liked the video and hopefully you guys like that little lookbook portion If you guys want to see more videos like that, please take a second hit that thumbs up smash that like button Turn that gray thumb blue caress that thumbs up till you give it blue balls I would greatly appreciate it in fact in honor of this uh, little off-white piece right here If you could just crip walk all over that like button make sure the like button resembles the color of this jacket But that being said, I do want to give a huge shout to farfetch I mean just look some of the most iconic pieces in my collection are from Farfetch. Also ignore this and this. These are all for future Supreme unboxing, which Farfetch carries. They carry Supreme, Stussy, Brain Dead, but they also carry a plethora of high-end goods. Bodie, Heron Preston, Fendi, Hyder Ackerman, Off-White, Fendi again, Rick Owens. Like a lot of these brands would not be on the same rack. Farfetch just has such a wide selection. Like even if you don't plan on buying anything, at the very least, click that top link in the description and just go look. If you are into clothes at all, I guarantee you, you will find something you like, something that you think is cool on Farfetch. I am guilty of window shopping on Farfetch all the time, even when I don't have money to spend. But thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. Like I said, smash the like button down below. If you guys made it this far, please comment Ellen Dangerous in the comments down below, just so I know you really rock with me. I do appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace the fuck out. Star life, Chris say shooting on Mets, got these thoughts been ran through. Goddamn it, like Beck Chief, keep drop on like that shit. Lil Reese in the cool clip, do a backflip.